things changed. This is still a song, things have changed. And if a reviewer praises a product, praise, 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 and then a year or two goes by and they're not praising it anymore, you know, things have changed. Uh, sometimes the people who bought those products, based on reviewers' praise, and they don't hear the praising anymore, they go, you mean it's not good anymore? Well, uh, no, it doesn't mean anything. If it was good then, it's still good. It's just that things have changed, and there may be other products in that category that have diverted my or other reviewers' attention. So things move on. It's as if I, you mean I, I, I loved it in 1996, and I still have to like it today, or in, in 2016, and I still have to like it now. I have to keep referring back to this thing because I said it was great in 2016. No, I mean, things have changed and things moved on. It was good then, still good now. Maybe the new one's better. But if you still dig in the original, then enjoy, right? So I think that's kind of frustrating. Frustrating for the people who were frustrated by that, but frustrating for me because sometimes I get the feeling that people want me to continuously praise products that I've reviewed, and I've reviewed lots. I can't be room to talk about them all the time, so I have to keep moving forward. Then there's this matter of uh, things changing with a company, and some companies do updates on their products or revise a product and make a new version of it. And if you bought that product, you know, six months ago, and now you discover there's a new version, a revised version, it could be a speaker, it could be an ele electronics, it could be a DAC, right, or something, and you feel like you've been burned because you bought this thing, oh my god, it's great, and I loved it, and wow, they changed it, and now I'm stuck with the old one. Well, I think there's a couple of ways of, of dealing with that and handling that. I think the first thing is, if you bought it from a brick and mortar dealer, go to the brick and mortar and say, oh, what's up with that kind of thing? Where do I stand? And see what they can do to make you a happy customer. You know, Failing that, or in any case, you could always go to the manufacturer, assuming uh, they're in your country, uh, or they speak the same language as you, and give them a call or send them an email and explain the situation. I just bought this thing a few months ago or six months ago or a year ago, and now it's changed and, you know, is the new one better? Can you upgrade it for me? And you know what? I think some of the time, easier with electronics certainly than with speakers, but uh, they might do something to make you and keep you a happy customer. You know, it might be a simple upgrade that you could do it yourself. Uh, I remember years ago there was a zoo thing that they sent me that there was a, a mod or something that even I am not the most handy person that I could just install this new update or electronics or maybe it's just a software up upgrade with a DAC. You know, PS Audio is actually really good at that, that they offer, they're always upgrading their, their DAC with software and uh, you get a new DAC, so to speak. You know. So, the thing is, don't be frustrated, don't get angry, get in touch with the manufacturer or the dealer and say, what can you do? What can you do for me? And I have a feeling they, they're going to try. They're going to try to keep you happy. Um, so, but you have to understand that they just can't keep making it. Now that, oh, now that Joe bought it, uh, we got to stop. We're, we're done, right? Joe bought it. He's thrilled. We should never change this product ever again. Mm, not really. They got to stay in business. They got to make a new one every, every year or two. Um, then there, you know, and then there are companies that don't even just do um, model changes, but they just, they're smaller companies and they just are revising the product over time, every new production run, they may have found a better way of doing something, they may have found the better part, and they'll just put it in there quietly and just, the product is evolving over the months and years it's being made without any fanfare, without any announcements. And again, that's another thing that can, it can bug people because where do I stand? And if you're in that category, if you're a neurotic waterfowl, did they change it? Is the new one better than mine kind of thing? Again, get in touch with the company 
and say, I know you change things on, on the fly in production. Uh, I bought mine at this point, maybe given the serial number. Uh, how is the new one different and or better than what I have? Then they might, they probably will tell you what they've done since then and whether they think it's worth upgrading to the new one. Um, so I think the lesson here is speak up. You're a customer, a valuable customer to, this, to these companies and dealers. I, I, you know, I come from brick and mortar, so I always want to stick up for brick and mortar dealers. And you know, if you don't say anything, nothing's going to happen, right? So if you just speak up a little bit, express your concerns, what could go wrong? Nothing bad can happen from that, really. So you might as well. My name is Steve Guttenberg. Speaking of speaking up, I'm speaking up. I am the Audiophiliac. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Still coming to you five or six or seven days a week in the summer. And uh, if you like it, please, 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 please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up when you like these little rants that I'm doing. There are playlists, so many playlists. There's playlists for speaker reviews and headphone reviews and music reviews and interviews and all kinds of good stuff. Over Last time I counted, over 620 episodes of the Audiophiliac Daily Show. And if you really, really like this thing and you've watched this far, I urge you, please, check out my Patreon, which can be found at p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash audiophiliac.